Hey everybody, thank you for watching and welcome to my channel. My name is Eden Sophie and in this video we're doing a foundation review and also lip swatches of the NYX Cosmetics products. So this is a look that I created. It's soft glam, it's given, I love it. And yeah, if you wanna see how I got this look then keep on watching but also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So we're going to apply our sunscreen. I'm actually going out with my best. Ooh. I'm going out with my best friend today. We're going to go to our nails and just hang out. It's been a while we haven't done that. So I'm really excited for that. So I'm just going to apply that using my hands. And it is sunny outside. So if you don't wear sunscreen, I suggest you start doing it now. Because I feel like sunscreen really changed 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 my face <laughs> I wear sunscreen every day even when it's snowy outside I have sunscreen on my face first for this video is to try out the new total control drop foundation I got two shades um, I got deep deep sable and I used Jackie Anna's shade as a reference and then I got cappuccino and this is my shade in the can't stop one stop foundation just by looking at these two bottles I feel like <laughs> I feel like my shade is cappuccino because deep sable is giving me a very neutral a very neutral kind of olive undertone but this one is giving me warm golden undertone so I will be going in with this so because I want to try that on I'm just going to use the next product and this video is just gonna be like next <laughs> like a next full face of next cosmetics so I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. This is the Marshmallow Primer. And I just personally love it because it doesn't take away the shine from my face. It doesn't matte my face. Of course, before using my foundation, I have I have to, you know, control the, the shine around my face. So I'm just going to use my setting powder to set the areas that I really get oily. Some, not sometimes, a lot. And I'll be going into my NYX Can Stop, One Stop setting powder and this is in the shade banana so I'm just going to set this all over my face real quickly and then we're gonna jump into this tutorial I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal my dark spots using their born to glow concealer this is a radiant concealer and this is in the shade cappuccino this shade is closer to my skin tone and we're just going to apply the shade literally everywhere that I have like dark spots or hyperpigmentation so I have decided not to cover um, a dark spot here because I want to see if the foundation actually really really covers dark spots so before applying this we're gonna shake it it says that simply adjust the number of drops you use until the desired level of coverage is achieved so more drops more coverage gosh i hope this is my shade eh? <laughs> One, two. really runny consistency as you can see so be careful okay let's use a brush to blend this out i need a close-up mirror i love how this brush is blending this foundation into my skin so if you have any liquid foundation I suggest you use a brush and you can always go back in with your sponge to set everything in I love the fact that the foundation layers nicely with my moisturizer and my sunscreen because sometimes this the sunscreen and foundation the combo they just be doing their own thing so I love the foundation and it's really sheen right now we would do this side and then hopefully this dries down semi matte as it cleans and I don't know if you guys can see the area where I didn't conceal um, I can build it up but I feel like it didn't really cover that so but that's fine because I don't want to add more coverage I feel like with three pumps it gives you a medium to full coverage if you're really someone who loves like full full coverage and you can apply four drops this is giving me skin like finish like it's summer glam glow for now I really like the coverage it's really beautiful it's a good thing I chose cappuccino because that's my shade <laughs> so for concealer we're going to use the NYX can't stop one stop this is my favorite concealer just gonna apply that really quickly 
and blend everything out press powder to set my other eyes i will go in with this shade and this is this is uh kind of like a banana shade i'm just using a morphe brush i'm just gonna go ahead and apply that on the front of my eyes let me set this up and we're just gonna go ahead and contour the areas that i contour and then Did you see that let me switch my brush it's basically stamping oh that is dark yeah that that is the darkest shade in the pan it's fine i'm not mad at it so after bronzing we're gonna go set our face using the same setting powder in the shade banana can't stop on stop brush and just highlight under my eyes yeah, this is really, this is a yellow powder. Not too yellow. It's beautiful. You guys seen? It's so weird how my face just glows. I don't even have a highlighter on. I don't, I don't know if it's a foundation or if it's just my skin, but this foundation is given. Let's just finish our makeup. Okay, so because this is soft glam and the focus was the foundation and the lip gloss anyways, but I feel like I want to do something on my eyes. So I'm going to be going into the NYX Ultimate Petite Palette. If you watch my video, which I'm going to link right here, I was showing you guys the eye brushes that you need in your life. If you're a beginner, this palette don't have names. It's just one, two, three, four, five, six. So I will start... Hmm. Hmm, what should I do? For my transition shades would definitely be this too. And then I will use this shade to just darken my crease just a little bit. So let's start out with the shade number four. Using my M441 brush, I will just start and concentrate this shade this shade in my crease. And first I'm gonna just buff everything out. And you want to start bit by bit and you can actually build on the color and because my base is a little bit tacky I'm stamping it first and then I blend it out and this is perfect because it actually connects with my contour shade <laughs> this is cute I love this shade so now I want to apply in shade number five in my crease too I just feel like I want to just add a little bit of warm there I feel like it's just gonna do something cute. I don't know. But we're gonna go ahead and use the same brush. It's beautiful. This is a beautiful soft glam. You know, my best friend told me to do this to do soft glam video, and I was just like, soft glam? What is soft glam? <laughs> I love how the shadows are pairing and blending into each other. It's really, really cute. It's a really cute soft glam actually. I take it back, honey. Now I wanna intensify the crease. And I feel like, of course, I'm gonna use a dark. I'm gonna use a darker shade, which is shade number six. The brush I'm using is gonna be my M433. So I'm just gonna take this on the brush. Look at this. It looks like that. And we're gonna go and pack this on my outer crease, and then blend into my eyes like that. Oof. This is just going to darken the crease just a little bit. Pack this on and then I kind of switch the, the way I'm holding the brush and just blend this into the eyes. Okay, so now the next shade we're going to go in is this really cute beige shade. I think shade number one. It's really nice. And also like I did the other eye because I wanted to see if I could do a soft glam look. And I think this is soft glam, so we're gonna do that so i'm taking that shade and using my flat brush my 242s from mac and basically i'm just applying that on my lid and because the shadows are not too pigmented the way i want them to be so you have to go back and pack it pack on um to your desired to your desired taste like to your to your happy you know for lash line we're gonna go in with these two shades like this shade number four and number five and just smoke out the bottom eyes. Ooh. This is a beautiful combo. I just like how both of them blend together. So beautiful. This can literally be my everyday palette. I'm gonna add a blush and I have this product from them. This is um this this is a creamy blush and it has like 
like um highlighting effect going on there so i just took a little bit of my brush and i'm just gonna apply that on my cheeks so it is kind of like a highlight blush oh this is cute oh my god i wasn't expecting this much cover oh so now we're just gonna go ahead and set our face using the nyx cosmetics matte finish i feel like we're done with this makeup look it's simple every day so these are the glosses it's called this is milky gloss and look so beautiful i love the fact that they are big i love the fact that it comes in a frosted bottle it it actually tells me that these glasses are pigmented so i'm really excited to try them for you guys the shade i'm gonna use is moody peach and this is like a pink shade so let's swatch this okay, so far i love the fact that it's beautiful and you can actually see the sheer the pink in the in the gloss and i just love how it feels on my lips like it's not separating which is something i really really hate when it comes to gloss and the fact that it smells good i can wear this i can wear this makeup look right now and just go out and call it a day it doesn't add on the liner which is really great the next one is called fomo and it's a cute blue milky gloss so let's apply this oh my god add more so before you apply your gloss make sure you moisturize your lips because i didn't moisturize my lips <laughs> hey i love this gloss finish is light blue it's not your regular gloss next shade that i got this is called milk and honey okay so this one is kind of like a nude shade so this one <laughs> it's just a sheer gloss it's just sheer i thought it was gonna be a little bit more pigmented as in nude pigmented i don't know if you guys know the juvia's place collection with vanessa her lip gloss the what is that name legit no it's really 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 no pigmented but this is just like a regular gloss so it's cute it's definitely uh, you know honey brownish color but it's not giving me what i wanted it to give but it's okay that's okay so the next shade i'm gonna try is called cherry skimmed so let's go ahead and apply this on the lips okay oh my god okay i feel like this is the best this is my best so far look at the pigment I feel like this one i can wear with a lip liner and i will really really rock this look even with like a full glam face this is cute i just love how it sits on my on my lips I'm gonna actually try this with a lip liner and see how it's going to look. I'm going to add my lip liner and this is just my MAC Cosmetics in the shade Night Moth. And I'm just gonna apply this just to see how this will look on my... Yes, this is the best. So this is in the shade Cherry Skim and it looks like this with the lip liner. I am here for this. This is this is going perfectly with my look right now i cannot stop looking at these glasses i love oh my gosh this is so cute so the next one that i got is called cookies and milk and this one is also another nude shape shade obviously i will wear this with a lip liner but what i love the pigments i just love that it is nude i can wear this with the brown liner with a brown lip gloss and just pair both together for yeah for now it's just like mm, but i'm not mad at the pigments so i'm gonna go and add a brown liner and see how that looks so i'm gonna use the nyx cosmetics uh, brown liner this is in the shade urban cafe and just apply that all over i think this is the look I think this this look complements my eyes and this is like soft glam finish this is beautiful i love the combination it looks really beautiful i love it oh my gosh the last shade that i got this one is from milk the cocoa and this is a brown lip gloss so 
I know it's not going to fail me. Let's get it on. Okay, so I am not mad at milk the cocoa. It's definitely giving me milk the cocoa. It's pigmented, it's beautiful. I love the fact that this glasses are actually beautiful the more you build it the more pigment you get and the way it just sits on my lips like it's not moving it doesn't transfer sorry it's not moving it's not separating it's beautiful i mean i'm going to actually add the cookies and milk in the center just to see just to see what this will give you know hold on let's do this I will wear milk the cocoa and cookies and cream together every day. This is a beautiful combo. I love this. So these are winners. Like I swear to God, if you love lip glosses, like you should get this. I got this from the NYX website for $10 and I, I don't I think the price is right it's beautiful I know we're in the pandemic and there's no point in wearing gloss to really go out because it's gonna transfer it's gonna stain your whole face when you wear your mask but listen if you're a Nyanga Sally like me which means you love lip glosses you love when your lips are luscious and when your lips are popping you should get this I only got six shades they have eight shades but this combo right here hmm I Eden approved. <laughs> so thank you again for watching. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I have a new upload. And stay safe everybody. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.